Hello YouTube, this is Falcon2081 and today we have Team Deathmatch on Skid Row and I'd like to go ahead and wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and I hope you enjoy your holiday. I'm sorry I haven't been able to post as many matches at, as I would like. I've just been uh, pretty busy with school, lots of research papers and projects due this week. So I haven't been able to dedicate a lot of my time to recording matches and doing commentaries and, and things like that. Uh, now here, this part of the map, uh, you have to be especially careful uh, in the beginning of the match because a lot of them uh, like to uh, uh, run through up the stairs right there and swing over to my left uh, to go through the uh, the building. Uh, here I get a uh, a quick kill, and I'm going to switch over to my akimbo shotguns because uh, I hear someone coming, and I make quick quick work for him. Uh, if you haven't uh, tried this setup uh, with the akimbos, especially with the shotguns, uh, I definitely suggest that you try it. I actually, uh, it was, uh, I picked up, I uh, picked up that tip from uh, Hutch in one of his videos. Uh, he uh, recommended uh, 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 using them because they are uh, pretty powerful, and if you're our close quarters, uh, they are pretty much a one shot, one kill. So uh, they actually work uh, pretty well on this map. And I'm actually, right here, I uh, get stuck through the wall and I get moved down by a uh, RPD. Uh, now, I've been uh, trying to practice with the snipers, uh, mainly running and gunning and, and things like that. Now, here, right here, you have to be uh, pretty careful. Up ahead, you see that window right there. A lot of people like to camp that window and overlook the tunnel and pick people off. Uh, it's a... Uh, a good way to get some kills especially at the beginning of the match and right there that the first shot should have killed them but it just got a hit marker and I, I got him with the second shot now right here where I am uh, overlooking the uh, hall here by the building uh, that's a uh, a hot spot or a high traffic area uh, a lot of people like to especially when they're spawning on on the other side they like to uh, uh, run through right there through the uh through the hall and uh, you can pick them off pretty easy from this side uh the way to remedy that if you're if people are there is just uh, <laughs> throwing some new tubes or grenades or or stun grenades or whatever as uh, some people like to do and uh i got the predator missile and i'm gonna get the guy that uh was gonna try and come up the stairs he would have seen me and i would have been killed I uh, hear another guy coming, so I'm just going to stay prone. I'm just going to get in with the Akimbos, with the shotguns. And uh, that guy right there, I don't know, throughout the entire match, he had a uh, riot shield and he never bothered to use it. So I, uh, I kind of found it, found it a little bit funny. Uh, here, that guy, I, I heard him coming, so I just stayed by the wall while watching the, uh, the door. And uh, this guy, I don't know what happened here. I get the hit markers, but uh, it doesn't kill him, and he just mows me down like nothing ever happened. Seems to uh, happen a lot, a lot in this game. And uh, I'm gonna get. I called the uh, care package in, but I'm gonna get killed by the airstrike. So I'm just gonna get uh, my attack helicopter. And uh, as far as strategy goes for Skid Row, uh, I I at first hated this map uh, just because I couldn't uh, uh, pick up the flow uh, of it, so to speak. And uh, now it's not so bad, but uh, I still don't like it as much. And uh, here I'm just gonna uh, wait wait them out a little bit because I noticed that they were still spawning in uh, in their spawn. And uh, I'm actually gonna pick off uh, a few people. And uh, here, I, I get this guy in midair. So sorry for him. And uh, I'm going to get another guy, but he's going to have painkiller, you see. And I'm going to get a uh, a guy in the window here in a second. Now, like I was saying, uh, in terms of strategy, uh, it really depends. Uh, this map, uh, the, the spawns seem to change a lot more frequently, uh, especially in these, in these close quarter maps. So you have to 
pay very close attention to your radar. Like I was saying in my other commentary about situational awareness. Uh, and uh, uh, you knowing uh, where your teammates are and where the enemy is. And uh, here, like I was saying, there's a guy right there. And I uh, pick him off. I don't know what he was doing. I guess he was, I don't know, maybe sleeping or not paying attention. Because he uh, usually... Uh, uh, where he was, he would have been able to kill me before I got to I, I killed him. And I'm gonna get an airstrike. I'm gonna put it on their spawn, but I'm not gonna get any kills. And that's gonna be pretty much it for the match. Uh, now, if you have any uh, questions or comments, uh, let me know, and I'll try to uh, answer them. Uh, but uh, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.